Hey there, folks. So, uh, we had a really exciting stream on this channel on Thursday night. We had uh, special guests, uh, Ken Williams from Sierra, and also uh, Marcus Maximus Mera, who's working with Ken on uh, developing a new game, a new Sierra-style game in 3D. So that was really awesome. So, I decided to kill all momentum at that stream gave me for this channel by doing another TRC stream. <laughs> No, no, I, I like to mix it up, you know, so we did an adventure game, we're going to continue that, hopefully finish Space Quest um, probably later in the week, maybe Thursday night, and maybe we'll get, um, if we're lucky, we'll get maybe Ken or Roberta or both to show up again, um, but tonight I have a different game, it's called Rat's Revenge, this is the original cassette, unfortunately I only have the cassette, um, it's pretty hard to get, I'd love to get the original manual and packaging too, uh, but like I said, it's, I mean, I mean, I put the copy, this picture of movie games. Not, I don't think a lot of people have this. So I want to try that out. Um, I don't know what I have on the screen right now, so forgive me. Let me start loading the game, and then uh, I'll start talking while I'm loading it. So let me uh, rewind this thing here. I think, this, I think I have the right tape in here. Let me rewind it. Hello, what happened to the emulator? It's like freaking out on me here. Let me just reset it. Okay, there we go. So, um, this game was made by Med Systems, which eventually became, I think, Eduware, if I remember correctly. Is that right? Um, they, um, they made a bunch of cool adventure games for the TRS-80. The most famous one was called Asylum, and that eventually got ported to the, um, to the IBM. It was one of the early games for the IBM as well. And that was a really awesome game I used to have back in the day, and, I, and I, I'm definitely going to play it again on this channel at some point. But this game is one of the earlier games, Rat's Revenge. Um, it, so Asylum was like an adventure in 3D, a first-person 3D view. And this game uses the same 3D engine, but it's more of just this very simple maze game. Um, but it's like sort of a precursor to Asylum. Hey, Ross, how you doing? Hello, so Ross says, how you doing? Hope you have a good day today. I did have a good day today. Um, I was just saying before you joined that uh, we had this awesome stream on Thursday with Ken Williams was on, and I decided to basically destroy the momentum for the channel by doing a tier Sadie game. But I, I can't help myself because first of all, I like to switch it up, and, and second of all, like tier Sadie for me was like a really I guess you know formative computer. I, I had it back in the day, and there were so many amazing games for it, even though the, the, the system was very primitive. I mean, it came out in 1977, so like, what do you expect? But um, so many amazing games for the platform, and I really just want to have a chance to showcase, you know, some of them. I think most people, I, I mean, I would be, if I found out that anybody ever streamed this game ever before on YouTube or Twitch, Rat's Revenge, I would be amazed. I'm, I'm pretty sure nobody has. There's probably like one guy who put a gameplay video up somewhere at one point, but that's probably about it. So I do want to be able to feature some of these, these older things. And like I said, um, but later in the week, I'm going to continue the Space Quest game. Probably tomorrow I'll also do an adventure. I may just finish the dragon or continue the dragon history game, which I didn't really. I just started. We didn't really get very far. I probably will do that tomorrow night. Um, the other thing I want to do in the near future is play some Atari Twenty Six Hundred games. Um, Ryan, who's one of the regulars of this channel, I, I I told him we'll do a two player game over the internet. So I definitely want to get that working. So I want to mix it up a little mix of adventures and not adventures. Um, and a little mix of, you know, more recent stuff and older stuff. I mean, Space Quest, when I say more recent, it's a little, you know, um, iffy because it's from 1986. But this game's from 1980, so it's even older. The Atari games, you know, Atari um, came out the same year as the TRS-80. Atari 2600 came out in 1977, sort of the TRS-80. So it's interesting, I think, to play some of those, like, together and see, like, what uh, what was going on in the console world while this was going on in, in the PC world, basically, because... The Apple II also came out in the same year, but the Apple II in the beginning was not anywhere near as popular amongst the masses as the TRS-80 was, because the TRS-80 was sold by Radio Shack, and they had stores all over the place, and it was pretty cheap, and you know people would just go and, and buy the thing. So, Anyway, uh, this game will be loaded in a jiffy. It should be almost done, and then we will check it out and see what we got here. Uh, Ross, how about you? Are you having a good day today? Anybody else is here, you know, feel free to say hello in the chat. As we always do. Obviously, I'm not as exciting as, as Ken or Marcus that were here the other day, but uh, I at least I at least I talk a good game. All right, here we go. So let's get this game started. Run. 
This is basically the title screen. So the graphics of the TRS-80 were not amazing, so they did a lot with what they had, basically. But you see it's spelling out Rat's Revenge. For some reason, those diagonal lines are super fast. It took forever to do the other ones. Copper 1989 Med Systems. Do you want instruction? So you see the I is missing. Do you want inst instructions? Sure. So available commands. So it's basically like a 3D maze. Um, use the arrow keys to turn around. Um, axe. Axe? What the hell is Axe? To accelerate. Why do we need to accelerate? Shift eight is hint. R redraw the screen. Hell H is help. Q is quit. Only the, the forward arrow moves you. The other arrow simply rotate you in place, the left, back, or right. This allows you to check all directions prior to moving. Rotate you in place does not count as a move, it's not bring starvation any closer. So my understanding of this game is you're a mouse in a maze, a rat, and there's a cheese. You're trying to get a cheese. And apparently if you don't get cheese fast enough, you know, because there's time, there's it's time basically. Every time you move, it's like counsel for your hunger. And then you can start to hallucinate and stuff like that, um, apparently. And you hallucinate cheese, and then maybe you go the wrong way because you're seeing a mirage of cheese or something like that. Ross says, I had a good day hanging out. Mom and stepdad. Oh, sorry about your brother. Um, sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, I mean, that's always a rough, rough sort of thing. But I wish you, like, strength, and I hope you can get through it. Right now you're chilling and playing some Mario 3. That's good. I, I, I got to play some Mario 3. I, I want to play everything on this channel. Like, my goal is to play, like, every every good game and every notable game. So this to me is notable. Uh, whether or not it's good, we'll find out. But, like, a lot of the early stuff is notable just because it's so early. But eventually I want to get to, like, just, like, playing like, some Super Mario Brothers and having fun with that, too. So... All right, these are the hardest the graphics understand. Know the moving forward one space in example three results in example two. So basically, it's trying to, to show you how to interpret the 3D, because especially if you haven't played a game like this before, you know, if you're used to playing a text adventure and you're getting this, it's like, how do I, what does this mean, you know? So, are you a novice? Uh, yes. I don't know what that means. Do I want a little maze? I guess for now, yes. Small maze it will be. Please wait while I set the maze. It should only take 20 to 60 seconds. <laughs> Scott says, bring me Ken Williams. Yeah, Scott, I was just saying before you joined that um, I was talking about the stream on Thursday and saying I just tried to destroy all the momentum by playing a TRC game tonight. <laughs> but uh, we will we will be back on Thursday, hopefully, with the next part of the Space Quest stream. And if we're lucky, maybe we'll even get Ken or, or Roberta to show up again. All right, so what's going on here? Okay, so I'm, I'm starting off facing a, a wall, it looks like. I think 7.6 is how far the cheese is away from you. And I don't know, like, if that only comes up in novice mode or what. I just turned to the left. So you can, you can turn every direction. You know, it doesn't count as a move until you actually move forward. So I'm going to do that. Move forward. I'll turn right. So the cheese, and the cheese got further away. So that means the cheese is, like, is that way. It's, it's to the right of me. Where is it? I have no idea. Look this way. It's a dead end, so I'm not going to go that way. I'll go forward instead. Look this way. It's a dead end. So it's, this is like an easier maze. There's a lot of, lot of obvious dead ends. So I basically have to go this way. Seven. Six. Six still. Turn here. Five. Four point one. Four. Hope this is the right way. Three. 3.1. That's a dead end. 3.6. Getting worse here. 4.4. Let's see. What does this do? What's this way? I hope this is the right way. 5. Oh, man. Look at this. 4.2. 3.6. This seems promising. I'm just guessing here. I don't know, but 2.2, 1.4, 1. Is it this way? No, it's not there. It's maybe right behind this wall here. It probably is. Let's see if I can get there. 1.4. Oh, that's a dead end. Damn. Uh, 
It must be right behind that wall. How do I get there is the question. It seems like going the wrong direction, but let's keep trying. No, no I don't like that. I'm going to go back the other way, back the way I was going before. Do, do, do. Come on. Maybe this way. Ah, here we go. It would help if I had drawn the map. Um, you know, I didn't draw the map. I think that's the cheese. Delicious. Burp. So that was the easy mode. That was I was on novice and I was also on small maze. So I'm gonna try to play it again with um, the not novice because I get I'm not sure that I like the fact that it tells you how far you are to the cheese. I feel like without that it'll be super hard. I get this another showed me the map that I actually went through. This is this is a small map, which it is pretty small to be fair. That's my route. I backtracked. I eventually got there. So that's going to give me a rating. You made 32 moves in the, the maze. You used zero hints. The main trail was 22 units long. Your score is 10. Do you want to see the maze again? Yes or no? You were born a rat. <laughs> the first time I played, I played one time before before the stream started. And I got I went exactly there directly. And it said, like, perfect rat or something like that. This one says you were born a rat. That's still pretty good. I think the higher your score is the worst. The worse you are in this game, because the first time I was zero, it said it was perfect. No, 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 you draw the map as you go old school. Yeah, I suppose, but I, I, I had the map sort of in my head um, from where I was going, So I, and plus I had the radar. So I, I, I'm i going to play this again. I want to see if without the novice mode you lose the radar. I'm assuming you do. <laughs> you dirty rat. Yeah, I, 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 it's like you need a Jimmy Cagney you're looking for, right? Before, I'm going to play this again. Before I do that, I want to try something else. I want to try... This other tape, the October 1978 issue of Sea Load Magazine. There's a bunch of interesting stuff, it looks like, on here, including Star Wars and uh, some other stuff here. So I want to see what that is. Is you were born a rat a compliment, Ninja says? Hey, Ninja. If you're playing a, uh, a game where you are a rat then and you're trying to find cheese, then being born a rat, I think, is a compliment. So I'm going to come back to this. We'll play the harder the harder version. But first, I want to try... Um, this other the sea load magazine because we always have some interesting stuff there let me let me check it out let's insert the different tape uh here we go where is it uh i can't find the file hold on okay here it is press play sea load Like, did he ever actually say you dirty rat? I remember, I think I saw like once a uh, a um, an Academy Awards where like Jimmy Cagney got like a Lifetime Achievement Award, and then like he said like he never actually said you dirty rat like in any movies or anything like that. But uh, how you doing, Scott? How you doing, Ninja? Who else is here? Hey, Defender, how's it going? So playing some. Oh, that was really quick. Playing some TRS eighty today. Right now, trying out Sea Load Magazine, issue number eight, October nineteen seventy eight. Let's see what this one does. I haven't tried this at all. I have no idea like what's here. Uh, it looks like Scott from a side view. Wait a second. What the heck is that? What is it making? Anybody know what that is? Any guesses? Just like random crap. <laughs> I have no idea what it's doing. Scott says I could swear him say you dirty rat. Yeah, I don't know. He probably said something similar. He probably said like you, you rat. You're so dirty. Or I don't know what this is. I think it's just making a mess. I think it's like a cool. All right, look at this. I'm gonna abort this. I'll put on the next part of the tape. Let's see. Hopefully, this, this, I think the next one is the Star Wars game. Maybe it's a really awesome game. Do, 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 do. Scott's is probably someone impersonating Cagney in a more modern movie. Yeah, maybe. It could be. Um, yeah, I gotta watch more of those old classic films. Um, 
I, I'm into classic films, and I've seen a whole bunch of them, but there's still a ton more I haven't seen. What I'm doing right now is watching um, Mission Impossible, basically. I just bought the, uh, the the Blu-ray set that came out like recently of the original Mission Impossible series, and I'm I'm like almost done season one. Um, it takes me a while because I'm like digitizing them as I go for my Plex um, my Plex uh, app. Um, but uh, those 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 shows are awesome, Mission Impossible, and basically Scott, um, you would find this interesting. Like it's amazing how many Star Trek um, actors are in that show. Like, I watched one where Sulu was one of the guest stars in the first season. They even had one where Mr. Leslie was one of the guest stars. Uh, they actually picked him to be, like, a Mission Impossible, like, one of the one of the spies of the, the team. And I was like, holy cow, like, is he actually going to talk or say something? Because in the show, Mr. Leslie never said anything. He went one line in one episode. And it turns out, he, he like, his job on the, on, the, on the Mission Impossible force is to play a corpse. Basically just pretend... <laughs> <laughs> like a dead body or like a sleeping guy or something just lie there like i guess he, he resembled some other guy or something that's why they picked him just to lie there and pretend to be some other guy that was his job scott's name was sue <laughs> no his, his name was uh his, 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 some other name on the show but i, th I feel like they called him George. i feel i think in the like they gave him a character named like bob or whatever and then like he, his character to go undercover as, as somebody named george or something like that to make it easier for him because his real name is George, or something like that. It's something weird. All right, this thing takes a while to load, but hopefully it will be done shortly. Yeah, and, and uh, I like um, in the first season, I've already seen like Apollo was like it was on one of the episodes. The guy who played Apollo, the guy who played um, Core, I guess was the name Captain like the Klingon Captain Core from the, the episode with the Arganians. He was like the bad guy in one of the episodes. Mark Leonard was the bad guy who played Sarek in one of the episodes. Um, there's a lot of Star Trek actors on there, actually. And I, I'm sure there's more. I'm just not even thinking about a bunch of them. So. Yeah, Kor was a Klingon. And, well, I mean, on, the, on Star Trek he was, but on Mission Impossible he was not a Klingon. Um, yeah, it's like almost every episode, it seems like, has like a Star Trek guest star or something like that in it. Like a, like a, oh, uh. I saw an episode where one of the agents was was Barbara Luna, who played um, you know the, the the girl in Mirror Mirror, like the captain's wife. Yeah, he showed back up in Deep Space Nine. That's right, and he and he, he he got killed, right? Is he the one that got killed, or is he the one that survived? I guess he's the one that survived. I don't remember anymore. No, he's he's the one that survived. He was like the old the, the Dahar master, the one who. Uh, who like became like an old drunk guy. I think he eventually died too, but he's the one that survived the first battle, right? I think he was. Man, this is taking a long time. All right, finally. Yeah, Survivor or Kamikaze the ship. All right, let's see what we got here. This is Star Wars, I think. Star Wars. One instructions? Yes. You're Luke Skywalker. Try to destroy the Death Star before it can clear the planet Yavin and destroy the Rebel Moon. Just like in the movie, you're maneuvering, spelled wrong, down the trench in an attempt to bomb a ventilation shaft at the end. And just like in the movie, you'll have to watch out for Darth Vader's TIE Fighters. Also, don't forget the gun emplacements along the side of the trench will be shooting at you with heavy-duty lasers. Not only that, but once you release your proton torpedo, you must pull out before it goes off. You're an expert at that, Scott. And before you crash into the end of the trench. Okay, how do you control the damn thing? You'll view the trench from the back looking forward. Okay. Should I like press the key to continue? Uh, press enter to see how Luke Skywalker's ship will fly. They don't, there's no concern about copyright here, you notice. It's like, they're very straight up that it's Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader and everything else. This is like from the Star Wars movie. This is like the same simulation they showed, like they were showing the briefing. Okay, so I got four passes through the trench. To see to control the ship, plus enter. <laughs> Scott says, I have confidence in LucasArts level quality game. <laughs> Since your view is from the rear, you'll not see your forward motion, you'll not control it. You move forward at a set speed, which allows you 65 seconds in the trench. You do control your horizontal and vertical motion, plus you control the firing of your proton torpedoes. These are controlled by the following keys. So y, B, G, H, and F, Okay. Next page. Here's some information to play your strategy. Your total time in the trench can actually 65 seconds. You crash the end wall. The time we display to your left. You charge the trench. The trench moves at random. 
Oh, great. You first see the shaft about 40 seconds from entering the, after entering the trench. It'll appear as a dot, but it's still too far away to fire. This is very complicated. About 10 seconds from the first shaft is a dot. You'll be close enough to the shaft appears as an oval. And then be close enough to fire at. You must be fairly close for you to check the corner of the shaft. Scott's like, but I was going to Tashi Station to pick up some power converters. You can play with your friends once your chores are done, Scott. But hurry, you'll have 15 seconds left for crashing at the end of the trench. Your people explodes 10 seconds after firing. They not be in the trench when it explodes. To get out of the trench extra fast, press the space bar to pull out. <laughs> this gives you extra power for a doubly fast escape. But keep in mind, you cannot fire a torpedo while pulling out. <laughs> Scott, you can fire a torpedo while pulling out, can't you? All power is diverted to the engines. This is really complicated. Oh my god. In addition to the dangers of crashing to the end wall or being killed when a torpedo explodes, any time you could crash to one of the side walls or bottom of the trench, be shot down by one of the three TIE fires will chase you, don't let them get you in their sights, be killed by laser fire from the gun emplacements. If you escape the fighters, if you avoid the lasers, if you aim a torpedo straight, if you fly right, and if you pull out in time, you'll see the Death Star explode in a fiery flash. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You have time for four passes before the Death Star clears the planet. For Death Star, you can fire two torpedoes on each pass. Be careful when you pull out. You may crash to a side wall. Get on the sights of a TIE fire. Hit try to maneuver the enemy, the enemy fighters to crash into each other. All right. Choose level of difficulty. Let's try easy first. During the play, there's no need to press the enter key. After pressing a key, when a split second performs, the second key is the one key to your onboard computer. All right. If you yell, you're not sister, press the extra points. All right, press S to start. Uh, here we go. Oh, my God. Wait, hold on a second. I forgot to click out of the window. I'm scared here, but let's try it. I feel like I'm going to die right away. To where am I? Oh, one second's gone. What's the X? Oh, it's me. Why am I seeing myself on the top there if I'm if I'm supposed to see this from a first-person view? What's going on here? I think someone shot me. I'm totally confused. Let me try, I'm gonna try this again. You've been killed. You were shot by one of Darth Vader's TIE fighters. Princess Leia will weep for you. The Death Star has cleared the planet. Their own base is doomed. Their star has cleared the planet. <laughs> hey, Jim. Jim says, Scott explodes in a fiery flash and he pulls out. <laughs> Matt says, that's why proper lubrication is so important these years. I thought it was a first-person view. Let's try this again. Press enter to begin. Okay, come on. Let's just try this again here. I guess it's not a first-person view. Press S to start. All right, let me move down. I'm moving down this time. Whoa, I got there's like a laser. Somebody trying to shoot me with a laser. No, no, stop. Oh, man. I... Oh. <laughs> what the heck? How else to know there was a laser there? Do I have any shields or nothing? In the Star Wars arcade game, you got like a whole bunch of shields. You've been killed by a laser blast. All right, let's try it again. This is easy? This is easy mode, remember. Okay, let's go down. I want to just... How do I get to stop going down? Looks like the most primitive game of Tetris ever made. I don't get this. How was I supposed to know that there was a cannon there? There's, there's no cannon in the wall. I didn't see a cannon. I didn't get shot the first time. It was a complete luck. I stop. It's time I stop. Okay, so pressing up when you're going down stops. But like, okay, now there's a, now there's, oh my god. It's like that game with the H's where they killed me. That other game. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This is terrible. This is a terrible Star Wars game. Oh my god. I don't know what, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, no, don't, don't leave the shaft. What are you doing? <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Oh, my God. Which one is Darth Vader? I, when they told me I'm Luke Skywalker, I would never have figured it out otherwise. Oh, no. 
No, 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 no! <laughs> what are you suicide right into me? Alright, this game sucks. <laughs> this game sucks, I'm sorry. This is terrible. I, I give up on this unless someone wants me to try it again, but like <laughs> Matt says you need to use the forest stook. <laughs> Scott says, I never press the space bar. You know, I, are you supposed to maneuver the tie fires the laser cad fire? I, I don't know. Like it said you're supposed to maneuver the tie fires into each other. Uh, maybe. I mean I didn't get to the point where I could shoot the freaking torpedo. This game's not good. I'm sorry. I didn't like that game at all. Oh, what happens if you press fire? Fine, I'll show you how to do you press fire. It's a good question. You only get two torpedoes, Jim. The the the, fi the firing is supposed to be to like shoot down the the Death Star. <sighs> Looks like the cannons are like sort of evenly spaced. There. All right, I'll fire just for the heck of it. Fire. It didn't even do anything. I presumably because I'm not because it's too early. I mean, I said those guys could shot by the lasers. And so you have to wait like at least like 40 seconds in before you even have an option to to like shoot the, the Death Star. And I'm too I'm too shitty to even get there. Stay on target. You're too close. <laughs> How is there's a laser there? That's just random. That's not fair. All right, I'm not playing this anymore. Try again. No, this is not a this is not a commercial quality game. Well, I like that. May the force be with you. I'm impressed that they actually like didn't care about any of the licensing or anything like that. They're just like, screw it. We're just gonna like put in a, a Star Wars game. But I've seen better. I'm sorry. I think Rebel Assault is better than that. So I'm gonna let's, let's try the next one. Bless RNG Defender says. What does that mean? Bless RNG. I feel like I should know what that means. I can hold it. You're too low. Pull up. No, no, it's like that's like Porkins. Like, uh, I got, I got a problem here. Eject. No, I'm all right. Pull up. No, no. Ah! <laughs> oh, random number generator. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Oh, what's this? Would you like instructions? Find program will generate complex changing graphic designs. Uh, okay. Let's try the first one they give here. H93 V47. Uh, okay. I don't know. This is something that makes cool pictures, I guess. I <laughs> mean, RNG by Arch Genesis in the Final Fantasy VIII car game. Yeah, the chub pilot named Porkins. Carby Porkins. I don't know why they call a guy Porkins if he's fat. It's really like mean. RG means the outcome is large. I mean, it's like there was some skill in that game, supposedly. I just didn't get to it because there was too much random stuff with the laser beams. And this is sort of nice, I guess. I guess if you want to hypnotize yourself and, like, uh, just sort of stare into the screen and be like, ooh, pretty patterns. Yes, pretty. Yes, my master. What do you command? Oh, kill thy entire family? Yes, sir. This is great if you're stoned in 1979. <laughs> well, 1978. Is, if you're stoned in 1979, I guess you had this tape for 1978. But this is for 1978. All right, that's enough of that. Let's let's load the next the next 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 thing on the tape. Uh, it's D. Chase. The Chase. Let's see if that's a game. Hopefully that's a game. Apparently these guys in Sea Load Magazine mostly put games on the on the tapes because if somebody complained, like, why don't you have business software? And they're like, because it's really hard to make like a good business software that's going to fit on a tape. And, like, somebody's going to write spend a lot of time making business software is not going to want to give it away. They're going to want to sell it for thousands of dollars. Hello there, Emerald Wizard. I am having a great night. Thank you for joining. Matt says it reminds me of the old Mandelbrot chairs. Yeah, it's exactly like that. What's this? Glad you accepted the invitation to visit my castle. Please step inside. 
You're just in time to see my robot training session. They are taught to track humans and kill them. Until you stepped in, I lacked a human to test them. Thanks for stopping by. Ha 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 ha. Cough wheeze. Can you push the enter key fast enough? No, the doors are already locked. If you look around, all you see are robots. Is there no hope? I guess the X's are robots. Maybe get the robots to destroy. It sounds like berserk. If you can crash into each other, they explode. Look at these glowing places. Why, wow, they're electrified. You just have to move so the robots fry. Just enter to see how you can move. You can number it and move one space in that direction. Oh, shit. Can I use the arrow keys? I, I don't... What is this? I gotta, like, freaking... Or you can press enter to stay put. Or you can press Q to quit. T to be teleported. L to make a last stand. I gotta use the number keys? I, those are not even the place like the number keys are, so... Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. Alright, we'll try, though. Type C load and push enter to attempt escape. Alright, let's try it. Oops. Let's try it. I don't know what I just did there. I did the wrong button. Come on. Now you see my, my screen. Stupid thing. Alright, get out of the way. Oh, yeah, why is that pause? Don't pause. There you go. So, um... What was I saying? Um... Somebody actually came and put a comment on the on the Ken Williams stream, and he said it was somebody, some guy who had like, he was in the chat. I remember his name, a cool guy. He has like you know, a few thousand subscribers on his YouTube channel. If I remember his name, I would give him a shout out. I'll have to do that at some point. But um, he made a nice comment. It said something like, "You deserve way more subscribers than you have just because you're so old school and you don't play these old school games." It's he's not here to see this because <laughs> this is even more old school. Uh, Matt says, this game reminds me, Dan Bitt needs to do a trash 80 port of Attack of the Pet Ski Monsters. He just announced the Atari 800 port. Oh, cool. Is that game good? I was like, I was, the other day I was like, I almost ordered it, and then I didn't, like, hit the trigger. I didn't pull the trigger at the end. Chase. Robots? I mean, yes. Is there asking me how many robots? Five? I don't know. Electrified? Uh, let me, oh, oh, sorry. Okay, five? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. It's quite good if you're not expecting miracles. That's cool. I don't know what this thing is doing. TRS-80. For the win. The graphics are pretty slow. Just to make these old borders take forever. Oh, so I'm the little dot? Oh, so it's not real time? It's like... It's like one move at a time? That's a little bit weird. And look at look at this terrible like setup I got here where all those electrified things that kill them are like nowhere near them. They're all like about to kill me. I don't remember which, which, what, what, what the numbers are. <laughs> Am I, do I get to move? Oh, what happened? I didn't even move. I, I, I didn't move. Oh, now I moved? <sighs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. This seems primitive, but the concept is really similar to super hot. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit like super hot, except this is, like, so much worse. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. This is not happening. The hell with this. Forget this. Sorry, guys. This is just too bad. <laughs> Let's see the next title. Next item up for biz. Oh, boy. That was terrible. So, Matt, have you actually ran on a pet? Or you've just, uh, like, have you, even a, you don't have a pet, do you? Do you have a pet, an actual Commodore pet machine? How's everyone else chilling tonight? Do you guys like TRS-80 at all, or you just watch this stuff to humor me? My wife just decided to come walking through here. Hey, J-Rock, how you doing? 
What's up, people? Here will be in chat at work. Oh, yeah, that sucks. You got to work now? This is like the worst time to work. Well, maybe, maybe the best time. Maybe nobody's bothering you. All right, this is not a game, so we are just exiting. And we got one more title. Stu's Wife's Game Reviews. Yeah, Stu's Wife's Game Reviews are probably something like this. It'd be like... Why is Stu wasting his money on this? Like, this is such a piece of garbage. Like, who in the world would spend money on this thing? I have no idea. That's Stu's Wife's Game Reviews. <laughs> I actually got a really nice deal. I mean, I, I picked up, like, all these CeeLo magazines from, like, one guy, basically, who collected them. Um, and it was, I wish I could find the ones I'm missing, but it's, they're, they're not easy to, to find. My dad used to subscribe to this too, and I played a bunch of these back in the day, although I don't remember all of them. <laughs> Stu's wife's game reviews. She reviews games, she tosses them into the trash. Yeah, basically. Luckily, she hasn't quite tossed them into the trash. Um, what happened here? Did it freeze up? I think this last thing is bugged because... Oh, it's a machine language program. I forgot. I have to do this differently. Hold on a second. Let's do this again. Uh, hard reset. Let's rewind the tape. System machine, I think it's called. Let's try that. Uh, what are you doing? What's going on here, Sadie? I think it's having a seizure. I guess that's the whole program. Is it some kind of demonstration? Stu's wife's Stu reviews where she reviews Stu. <laughs> and Stu's wife's barely tolerates his gear. All right. I think that's just a little stupid thing there. <laughs> Your cheers and achieves sentience. Shoot it, shoot it. All right, let's put back on the main, the main attraction for tonight, which was the uh, Rat's Revenge. I'm going to try that again. That was... Not bad. Let's restart this. This was like a long load. It was like the counter had to get to like 200 plus. So, Jim Leonard, you said no comment before. What was the no comment about? Oh, the attack of the pet ski monster. Did you work on that game? I know you helped the 8-bit guy with a bunch of his stuff. Did you work on that one? I don't, I don't, I don't recall. Jim Leonard is a very proficient, um, lots of things, very techno geek. I don't know what you want to call it, but uh, he has his own channel, which is, I think it's called the Old School PC. Is that right, Jim? If you're still there, that's a pretty pretty nice channel. If you're not subscribed to the Old School PC, you should go ahead and subscribe to that. Old School with, with a K. No Only Planet X3. Okay, cool. So Jim, Jim has helped the 8-bit guy, who's obviously more more famous than both of us together. Um, I don't know how many subscribers he's on his channel, probably like 10 billion or something. Matt says, Jim is the original 8-bit guide. The old school PC, yes. Thank you, Jim. So subscribe to the old school PC if you're not already subscribed. The O-L-D-S-K-O-O-L -O -O PC. If you're into IBM PCs especially and you want to, and you want to understand like how stuff works... I think that's where he, he and the 8-Bit guy have, have, have a lot in common. And Jim also uh, has, you know, I was going to say a really nice collection of IBM PC games, although I think you've got rid of a whole bunch of them. You still have a really nice collection, just it's smaller. It's, like, more curated at this point. And hardware. Um, your hardware collection's quite a bit nicer than, than most people. So this will be done in a second, and then we'll get back into the game. Again, this is Rat's Revenge. Um, here's the original tape. I don't have the manual or the or the. I don't think it came with a box. Probably it's a manual in a plastic bag. I don't have it though, unfortunately. If anybody has it, wants to hook me up, let me know. I will I will pay for it if I need to. Um, but yeah, this is the, this is the game. You sold about a thousand? Oh my gosh! I didn't realize you had so many. That's a lot. You're holding out on me, Jim. I gotta come visit you and check out the thousand games. All right, come on, man. This is almost done here. If 
come on. The fun of loading games on cassette is a, is a fun that the, the, the newer generation only knows with, with their load times in the middle of the games. At least once you load the game, it's done. It's done loading, usually. Um, some games have, like, multi-loads, like, especially, like, in the, the British computers, like the Spectrum and things like that. But they try to do it so that it loads one time and it's done. Whereas modern games, they load the beginning, like, the video, like, you know, the intro. It's like, welcome to Electronic Arts, and then and then uh, you need to load 50 more times. Only 600 are accessible at the moment. Yeah, it's like, it's like my collection. So here we have, I guess that's the size of the maze and the large maze. So we're going to try the large maze now. Rats Revenge. Yeah, 80 each miles per hour. Demo is really cool. I agree with that. All right, so I guess let's do instructions again just for the purpose of people who came late. Um, basically it's arrow keys, but you only get, you only move when you move forward. I don't know what the accelerate is. Um, shift eight is hint. I probably remember that during the game though, but help is H. Um, and then this is what it looks like. Am I a novice? Let's say yes. Do you want a little maze? No, this time. Okay, a large maze. You may be sorry. Please wait while I set up the maze. Patience may take three to five minutes. So to set up the small maze, it took like said, 20 to 40 seconds. Jim says, you flatter me, sir. Look at this, this politeness here. Three to five minutes, my gosh. I mean, like, <laughs> I don't think I have that kind of patience. I hope you guys have patience for those. I guess uh, while, while we're doing that, I'll show some stuff I got in the mail recently. So first of all, I picked up this game, Lancaster, which is like sort of unknown, but um, it's, I think, apparently Will Harvey's first game. Um... And uh, it's for the Apple. There's also an Atari version, but it's some kind of arcade-type game, as you can see there. It's shrink-wrapped. I haven't opened it yet, but hopefully it will be open at some point. I got this really weird thing called Beat the Reaper, which is obviously newer. It says 2000 and 2008, but, like, Game of Life scenarios, know-it-all resources, true stories, games. And then on the back it shows, like, like some kind of Jeopardy game or something, but it says, I don't know, some kind of thing about when you make the right decision between life and death or something like that. I don't I don't even know what the heck that means. And I got this SSI game that's really beat up, North Atlantic 86, but it was only like 10 bucks, so I thought that was a good deal. All right, so let's see here. Um, this I think So this two here means I'm two away from the cheese, which it sounds like it's good, I'm really close, although it could be like some really convoluted maze. And I don't know, like, I think that's only in novice mode. So after this, I'm going to try to play it not in novice mode. So I start backed up against, oh, okay. So there's a wall in one direction, but not that. Okay, interesting. I have two, I'm in a corner, basically, it looks like. So let's see when I go this way, which way the counter goes. One. Uh, is it, like, right next to me? No. So, the, so it must be through this wall is where it is. Um, so i got to see if I can remember... Where the hell I was going. And the chances of that are probably low. Oh man, that card is like super far. Alright, I'll go this way. Is that a dead end? Oh, it's just a dead end. Alright. I'm not doing too well here. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go this way. This will take me away from the cheese. 1.4. The truth is never flattering, Dr. Leonard. You fine foxy fellow. Mr. Sun's 3 or 3,000. It's not good. I'm going really far away. This is going to try to tease me here. And I'm 5.6 away. 5 again. 5.8. 6.7. Dead end there. 7.6. Ugh, more dead ends. See, I don't know. I have to just follow the, the maze and see where it takes me. 8.9. Alright, this is promising. Go in the right direction, at least. Scott says shift 8. Well, shift 8 was a hint, right? Mm. Should I try this way? 7. 6. 5. That's not the right direction, I don't think. 
4.1. This port of Doom sucks. <laughs> this is before Doom. Give it a give it a give it a break. Yeah, that's not the right way. Oh, I tried. Let's keep going this way. Let's do for etch a sketch. Oh, let's try it. Do 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 do. Nope, that's wrong too. I'm not such a good rat this time. It actually looks about how do ran the Packard Bell three six. I don't know. This is bad. Come on. Please let this not be a dead end. Please let this not be a dead end. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, Doom... I mean, Doom didn't... Uh, I mean, obviously Doom came out like a good 10 years after this. 7.2. I don't like that one. It could be the right way. I like this one better. You're not really gaming on a tier C unless you're measuring render speeds in seconds per frame. Do you remember I did that stream a while ago, or that, not that stream, the video a while ago, and you were telling me like it was too slow, and you were right. Um, that wasn't quite that bad. Three, 3.1. Oh, it's getting worse. Which, which direction is the cheese? I, I'm already lost. 2.8. Three point six. I'm like almost like oh my god. Four point one five five. <laughs> well, yeah. huh. This is like this is like a really bad uh bad maze here. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Shift 8 to victory. What does Shift 8 do again? I don't remember. Needs more cheese. Yeah, it needs more cheese. They, apparently, like, if you keep on, like, playing this game, like, badly, you start hallucinating cheese as you get hungry. But maybe because I'm a novice, there's no hallucinations of cheese. But Shift 8 is a hint. Well, I'm I'm not totally like stuck yet, but I'm getting there. My, like, my, my counter is going like further and further away from. Well, let's try shift eight and see what it does. Just pick a wall and follow. That's what that's sort of what I was doing, but I was trying to be a little more intelligent than that, and that may have been my downfall. I think I'm I think I'm lost now. Uh, okay, let's try to pick a wall and follow it. I think I, I think I like Jim's suggestion. I mean, that may not work. You realize because it could be that uh, somehow go, go. This looks good. Three point six. That's not good. I felt like I was going the right way at one point, and then I got like, I don't know sidetracked or something if it's 3.1 it means it has to be some diagonal <sighs> despite all your rage you're still a rat in a maze yeah I am oh boy so obviously it's this way Ah, no, 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 oh my gosh, this is all like the wrong direction, this whole, the whole thing was a big dead end, oh no, ah, oh. I th I'm i like hopelessly lost at this point, oh.
I'm going somewhere. <laughs> Jimmy, the problem is with that with that with that strategy is if there's like a, a circle or something, you can get like stuck. Why did I do that? Why did I bother to walk into the dead end like that? So, where's the shift? The shift eight doesn't do anything. Let's look at help again. Shift eight is hint. So starvation also, in theory. Just going through a maze. Just like a rat in a maze. I feel like I was here before. I feel like I was here before. <laughs> or I don't think I was. I don't think I was ever 10 away. It's getting worse and worse and worse. 11. This is like... Oh, man. I clicked outside the window. This is getting disastrous here. <laughs> I think I'm like every single bad part of the maze. And, and I have... <laughs> I haven't done anything right yet. Oh my god! You think I? You think I'm ever gonna get to the end, or I'm just gonna starve in this maze? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna starve. Is there cheese at the end of this maze? There's supposed to be cheese at the end of this maze. I might be too pathetic to get it though. Yeah, that's the dead end. I'm sorry to hallucinate cheese. <laughs> I. Oh my god. I guess I think my the reason why I can see seven point six and eight is because my rat senses are smelling the cheese or something. The small maze I think was more fun than this. I think this is this is just wandering aimlessly, basically. Your problem is you're not charting your path in a notebook. Yeah, I suppose. Should I, I mean should I should I, I mean if I really did do that, though, like, honestly, like, <sighs> why isn't shift eight working? Let's see. Hold on. Shift eight. May I do shift that arrow key? Shift up? Let's try that. Let's do anything. Use graph paper. <laughs> I think I'm hopelessly, like, lost here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just a dead end. Oh, no. I'm going to be in this maze forever. Or until I die. Maybe you have to teleport through one of the walls. Pull out your magic map. <laughs> I'd like to do that. Stuart pulls out his magic map. This is, has to be a wrong way. Yeah, I, knew, I knew that was a dead end. Needs more centaur. Why centaur? This, is a, this, this has to be a wrong way too. No? Just, just wandering aimlessly. Maybe a Minotaur. Oh, for the uh, for like King's Quest Six, you're thinking about. I'll just, I'll just go this way. Whatever. <laughs> Dude, I'm listening to Jim's directions now. I don't feel any peril. Yeah, it's true. I mean, there, there's you're supposed to be able to starve. But how long it takes to starve, I don't know. I mean, I think I'm in novice mode, I can't starve. But you're right, I should be playing something different. Like, maybe that game, on the, on the Spectrum, there's that game the where there's a Tyrannosaurus that chases you. I forget now what it's called off the top of my head. That's probably the wrong way, but... 
I want to I want to make sure I don't like miss the exit somehow. I'm just like going every direction. Three. Three point one. Like literally, I'm solving this maze by brute force at this point because I was just got too frustrated by the uh, what I had to do before. Or I'm trying to solve these by brute force. I should say I shouldn't give myself any credit until I actually get solved. But if this is if this is the way, it's really crazy. I don't think so. I'm gonna get my score is gonna be it's gonna be abysmal. It's gonna be like you're the worst freaking rat that ever lived. Before I, I was like perfect rat and uh, that's this is basically wizardry with no monster battles with over progression. Yeah, basically. Alright, come on. I wanna get to the end here at least. Well the monster battles level progression is just a distraction from the, the fun of crawling through a random maze, isn't it? Maybe. Oh, this is probably the end. No, it's not the end. Oh my god, I'm so close. 2.2. 2. 2. 1. But it's not there. It's divisible. 1.4. This is where I started. Is this where I started? I feel like I'm in the entire freaking maze. Kai needs to break the monotony. I'm, I'm going to break my head in a minute. Oh my gosh. Do you want me to like do a dance for you to break the monotony, Matt? I think I've been through the... I think I've been everywhere. I... I, I could swear I've been like everywhere. What the hell's going on here? There must be one turn I missed somewhere. At the end it's going to show like what my route is through the maze and it's going to be like... You dumb... Schmuck. <laughs> See that dance your only fans? Oh my god. Where is the end? Let's do his brain giant cash songs now. Oh my god. I'm literally just hugging the wall. I'm starting to like hallucinate in real life. Forget about the game. Hallucination City. <laughs> Where is that cheese? Oh, no. All right, so now they're, they're breaking up the out of here. Is this the real cheese? Is this the real cheese? Oh, great. Or is it just fantasy? <laughs> Go on in a landslide? Oh, it's like Bohemian Rhapsody. Is this the real cheese? Or is it just fantasy? <laughs> Caught in a landslide. No escape from reality. Open your eyes. Look up to the skies and see. I'm just a poor boy. He's about to die. I'm just a poor rat. Don't need no sympathy because I'm easy come. <laughs> She's like all the plays. <laughs> Easy go. You starved. <laughs> Alright, let's see now how pathetic I was. That was sort of funny, though. <laughs> what did I do? Ready to see what I do? What did I do? Let's see. So when I missed a turn at the top there, that's a the problem. I didn't, I didn't go down this this thing at the, the top. 
I didn't go down this thing here for some reason. And the cheese was there the whole time. Ah, I mean, I really sucked. All right, well, we can play that again, but <laughs> I, I, I sort of agree with you guys. I feel like um, this game was like, okay, it's like, but it's sort of a tech demo. I mean, it's not, the end was the best part when you started to hallucinate and it started playing Bohemian Rhapsody. That was the best part. But aside from that, it's just like, eh, it's like, eh, eh whatever, I don't know. I feel like the, the significance of this game, again, Rat's Revenge, is uh, it's a leap to, you know, it's a stepping stone to future future games like 3D, like Asylum, for example, is, really, is a really great one, which we'll play at some point. But uh, honestly, like, um, uh, I don't know. I think, I think none of the games today were that great. I think this is the best one, but... Yeah, I think I'm sort of done for tonight. It's been an hour. I think I'm going to call it a stream. Again, um, tomorrow will be an adventure. Pro probably finish it, continuing the Dragon game, but I'm not sure. If anybody has a better idea, let me know. And hopefully later in the week we'll continue Space Quest with Marcus Mara. And maybe maybe Ken and or Roberta will show up again. But uh, thanks for joining, and please like the video, and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and please leave some comments. And uh, try to keep this older stuff alive. Like, even if this wasn't that great, I'm glad we tried it and we got to see this old TRS-80 game. And uh, next one will be better. So thanks everyone for joining. And we'll do this again real soon. Thanks Matt and Scott and Defender. And uh, Ross was here. And Jim. And uh, who else? Uh, J-Rock stopped for a second. Emerald Wizard. Uh, that's pretty much it for, for the speakers, I think. Oh, Ninja was here. That's right. He's probably still here. And Ross. All right, guys. Well, thanks very much. And we'll do this again soon. Have a great night, everybody. Peace out.